This is the Michael Kors Slater Extra Small Convertible Backpack. This beautiful pink is Colt Powder Blush. It comes in a few colours like black, tea rose as well as optic white. It is a medium capacity bag. It has a zippered main compartment, a functional front pocket as well as a back pocket right here. It also has a top handle and it comes with a couple of detachable straps that you can attach in a number of ways to wear it as a crossbody bag, a long shoulder bag or a backpack. In this video I will cover the dimensions of the bag, I will cover its pros and cons, the price, what fits as well as some modeling shots. Firstly, just to give you a bit of background, I have been using this bag as my everyday bag for the last two months. I purchased this instead of the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini because the capacity is similar, but in fact, I think this bag is a little bit more functional. So next, let me give you a closer look at the bag. So there is this zippered compartment. The main compartment looks like that. There is a front slip pocket over here as well as a back slip pocket over there. It also has a functional front pocket and also a back pocket right here. It has no feet. In terms of the dimensions, it is 17.78 centimeters in width, 22.25 centimeters in height, 10.8 centimeters in depth. One of the big pros of this bag is that it's actually really tiny. It may look really big on camera, but if I place it right next to me on my shoulder, the bag is actually really quite small. And for such a small bag, it actually really packs a punch. So let me show you what fits in this bag. In terms of what fits in this compartment, it's really quite capacious. I'll get the big items out of the way first. This is a 450 ml water bottle and this fits inside fine. Obviously it does take up a lot of space once it's in there. I have a uh, card holder right here and then my phone. I have a Huawei Nova 3i. I like to put that in the front slip pocket and that makes it really easy to access when I first open up the bag. This is a stick of sunscreen because I always carry sunscreen with me and I'm placing that behind the purse some sunglasses so I'm gonna slip that in that corner next to the water bottle. I usually like to carry some masks as well and I often slip that in the back slip pocket. I should have put that in first. <laughs> Pretty much full with the water bottle in there. And that's how it looks. Still pretty good. And with that you can still fit things in the front pocket here. I have my car keys, my lip balm, I have a bag holder, a small bottle of sanitizer. If I want it, I can put a pen in. And then there is still this compartment back here. It is zippered. I usually just place some cleaning wipes back here or if you want to, you can put some tampons or sanitary towels. This back compartment is not gonna fit my phone though. Yeah, so not, not quite. <laughs> yeah, I can't quite stand it up either. Otherwise, if you're curious if it will fit a long wallet, so I'll take out the water bottle and I'll also take out my coin purse. So yes, it will fit a long wallet without any problems whatsoever. And even with the long wallet there, you can probably still fit a few more things. Uh, let's see, I have my Louis Vuitton coin purse right here. And I don't have any more items, but yeah, you could still fit like a pack of tissues and zip that up, no problem. And if you're curious if this will fit a small umbrella, it will as well yeah and you can even stand it up a little bit and then still zip it up pretty pretty capacious this bag and uh this back pocket actually fits passports and i've got three passports here and um easy peasy so that keeps your passports really secure for when you're traveling. The other big pro of this bag is that you can wear it in many different ways. So on the back of the bag, there are four D-rings and Michael Kors gives us two detachable straps and we can attach it in any which way we want. So my personal favorite way of carrying this bag is crossbody just like this because in this position, it's really easy to open and close this bag and to access my items. And during times when I am frequently accessing the items in my bag, I'm able to leave it open without the contents spilling out. Another really handy feature that I like to point out if bags have them is that these lobster clasps, they pivot around themselves. So this means that if the strap twists, um, it will just kind of fix itself. Now the fact that these straps are fully detachable, it also means that you can attach any other strap that you like. Another pro about the Michael Kors Slater Extra Small Backpack is the price. Now I mentioned that I bought this instead of the Louis Vuitton Palm Strings Mini. The Palm Strings Mini retails for $3,100. 
whereas I purchased this bag for $260, so less than 10% of the price. Now, I also mentioned that this bag retails for over $400 Australian dollars. However, I was able to get it on sale. Moving on to the cons of the Michael Kors Slater Extra Small backpack. In my opinion, these straps, they are made of fabric with the capacity of this bag, as well as the retail price of over $400 Australian dollars, Michael Kors could have given us a couple of leather straps. This top handle as well is made of the same material. I've just covered it with a twilly because I wear a lot of sunscreen and I don't want to get this strap dirty. The other con is this strap right here. It is metal interwoven with leather. I personally think that it is quite nice but some people may find it a little bit loud. Now if you find that you really don't like this chain, you can just snip it off here and here. And if you did that, it's not going to affect the zipper pull function because this zipper pull right here is not attached to that chain over there. These straps are adjustable. One of the cons is because this fabric is so smooth. I find that over a course of a week, this starts to slip and the strap starts to lengthen. So I often do have to readjust it um, at least uh, once a week. Now moving on to the mod shots, I'm going to show you the different ways this bag can be worn. For reference, I'm 5'1 or 152 centimeters. The verdict is I absolutely love this bag, so much so that I've considered buying a second one. I actually decided to try another mini backpack and an unboxing video of that one is coming up on my channel real soon. Now if you're interested in watching one of my really popular videos about the 10 luxury items I would purchase again and again, I will leave a clickable card on screen. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like and share this video with a friend who may be interested. I'm Denny Ori, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!